Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s Lost Speedway second season premiered tonight. One of the featured guests is well known to our area. News Channel 11 Sports Jesse Crawl spoke with Tri-Cities native Brownie King, who raced on two of the tracks featured on the show. Right here is uh, Bill Morton at the beach. If these walls could talk? And slow down to make them turns. I enjoyed it. Wouldn't take a million dollars from my members. Brownie King not only drove in the last Daytona Beach road course race, jar and jolting time, and they know it. but also the first Daytona 500. Both Petty and Bochamp plot. There's a, a sector of drivers that were independents, and they're there every week, you know, and, and they may not have stole the headlines, but they were a huge part of building the sport. But this week, the Johnson City native is at the apex of the racing world. A journey to find and explore. Getting featured in a couple of episodes of Dale Jr.'s Lost Speedways, which premieres this week on Peacock. The footsteps of my heroes and immortalizes their greatness. He was trying to find somebody that actually drove on the track. And there ain't too many of them around are still living. You know, this uh, show and this sport uh, is, is our soul, <laughs> is our passion. It always has been. So when we met Brownie, it was like, Dale was kind of like a little kid. He actually got his autograph to you afterwards. And Brownie was pretty excited as well. Brought back a lot of memories. On the personal level, getting to know them and, and then getting to get their stories told, you know, it's magical. But there's no tricks to discover a story like Brownie's. You just got to look at his walls. That's me going up the beach out there. In Johnson City, Jesse Crawl, News Channel 11 Sports.